sound nice, check one. My mic sound nice, check two. My mic sound nice, check three. Are you ready? All right, what up, JDL fan? Look, you know I like to cover uh, like camera equipment, uh, microphones and stuff like that. Just some equipment that makes YouTube and film life easier. So right here we got three different levels of USB microphones made for recording podcast, gaming, uh, you can you can do songs, all kinds of recording from these microphones. It's three different levels and we're gonna go through all three of them right now. So in the house from Cyber Acoustics, we got the Shasta, the Tahoe and the Denali. Now I know the Denali and the Tahoe are like mountains, but I don't know about Shasta. I'm gonna have to look this up. Somebody look that up for me and let me know <laughs> if that's a mountain. It, it, I don't know, it's a Shasta. Anyways, let's start with the baby bear. This is the baby bear, mama bear, and the papa bear. Let's put mama and papa off to the sides and we will start with the Shasta, which is the baby bear. So getting into this thing, it's got a USB connection, cardio uh, directional pattern. Uh, then you got your frequency response rates. Uh, you got, it starts at 40 Hertz all the way up to 18 kilohertz. You got an adjustable desk stand. And of course it's got a threaded bottom so you can put it on a mic stand. Let's get into this thing. Got your instructions on the top, which we may or may not need. I'm not sure. Get into this, put that to the side. Okay, there you go. It's, that's all you're getting out of there is the mic. Nothing more, nothing less. Cause that's all we came for. Oh yeah, we got it. We got the USB cord right here. Uh, hopefully they all use the same cord. That way I only have to do that cord unraveling once. Now starting off with build quality, this is an all plastic design with a metal mesh around the, uh, the microphone in here. And uh, then you get all kinds of directional swiveling going on. It's got an up and down left, right, and then it's got a ball joint in the middle. That way you can just aim that bad boy however you want to, tighten it up, and then it's good to go. But like they said, it does have a uh, quarter inch thread right there. That way you can put it on a mic stand so you're not limited to using it on the desk stand, which is good because some mics you get, you're just stuck. It's got a desk mount and that's it. Some Sometimes you just want to put it on like a boom arm or something. You got your USB uh, input right there that is micro USB, nice touch right there. And that's pretty much all there is to this mic. Of course, there's your LED right there. Now, when it comes to the sound check of these things, I'm not gonna do them one by one. I'm gonna do them side by side. Uh, as I do it. So at the end of the video, you'll get a sound check from all three of these microphones. I just wanted to go ahead and do an overview of them real quick and then do the sound check uh, side by side by side. But I know you're wondering who this mic is for. This mic is for anybody who wants to start out because this is the entry level one. So if you want to start out with a podcast or if you're gaming or if you're doing voiceovers on your videos or something like that, this is a great mic to start off with. Very low cost and it just gives you the basics of what you're gonna need. As you can see here, this is what you get, but I'm pretty sure it's a good mic because it comes from Cyber Acoustics, which uh, I like Cyber Acoustics products. They, they haven't let me down yet. So this is the Baby Bear. This is the Shasta recording mic right there. Let me put that along with its instructions over there, and then we will go to the Mama Bear, the Tahoe. So let's get into this USB Pro microphone series. Okay, before we get into it though, it says it's got a windscreen. Okay, so you got a separate windscreen for it. Then you got volume and then you got mic gain, a power LED, headphones, oh, headphone jack. Then you got your USB port and of course you got that threaded bottom. Oh, you got two, uh, two patterns. You got the omnidirectional and the cardioid. So let me take this out and then I'll explain to you what the difference between those two is. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, this mic feels like good quality. It's got a metal build and then this is your your uh, styrofoam, not styrofoam, but this is your uh, your filter right here. Just in case you got a little extra noise happening, you might want to put that on there, but let's look at this thing naked right now. So you got your headphone volume right here because you do have a headphone input right there. There's your quarter inch hole right there for your mic stand if you got one. And yes, you need power for this mic via micro USB. Then we'll come around to the front once again as your headphone uh, volume so you can listen and just turn it up and monitor your sound on the fly. That is super cool. Next to it, you got a mic volume, which, which this is actually a gain. It's not mic volume, this is a gain. So this is how much input from the mic you're feeding into your, your source. In my case, it's gonna be the computer. So this is a gain, not just volume. And then if you look around the back, you have a button right here. So is, does this turn? No, it doesn't turn. If you have this button sticking out, then that means you got the omnidirectional pattern. Meaning that if I put this mic right here in front of me, it's capturing noise, not only from the front where I'm talking or the back where I'm talking, but it's capturing it 360 degrees around. So you can be sitting at a table and have people's voices feeding into this one mic 
omnidirectionally. Is that a word, omnidirectionally? <laughs> but then we have the same button. If you press it in, now you got your cardioid pattern, meaning that if you have it this way facing you, it's only capturing audio from about right here at this angle. It's kind of a rounded off pattern where it just captures mostly your voice, not necessarily like a shotgun mic, but it's just gonna capture the audio that's coming from the front of it. So that's cool that you have that option back there. That is definitely an upgrade from Baby Bear right here. And let's talk about the build quality. This is definitely a better built microphone and you're paying for it in the price, yes. But uh, you got your, your mesh wire right here. It's just kind of a capsule type of structure, but it feels absolutely solid. The slides seem very steady and smooth as you uh, slide them up and down. Got a little company branding right there. Now this base right here, it's a plastic. It seems to have some give to it, so it's not like a rigid plastic that you're gonna break anytime soon. You can see me kind of pushing on it like that. And yeah, you can uh, have this thing pretty much in any direction you want as far as doing it like this. And then you just kind of tighten it up and bam there you go let me bring it back that way bam there you go all right so the build quality is on point and we don't know about the sound just yet we'll have to see but i'm digging this microphone just because it has these two options right here it's got a solid build quality and we're going to move on to papa bear in just a moment let me put the little hat on the tahoe just so you guys can see how that looks and then when we do the audio test we're going to be getting optimal uh sound quality with this little cap on right here. So it is on and bam, there we go. All right, so you got baby bear and mama bear right there. Now we move on to Papa Bear, the Denali. All right, so the Denali, this is the big dog right here. All right, so we have four different mic pickup patterns. Wow, okay, so we got the headphone volume just like before. We got the mic gain. I got a recording light, headphone jack, mini USB, mic stand, and four pickup patterns. Wow, okay, so they have truly outdone themselves with this one. Let's get this one open. Once again, this is the Denali. This is Papa Bear, big Papa Pump. Okay, so you got your micro USB. So these all use the same um, micro USB cable, which is good because it's something that you already have at your house just in case you know something goes awry with your cable you always have one on standby and that's all you get in the box right there a bunch of foam and yeah that's it let's put that back there okay so let's take this little pop screen off so this being the big dog mic it definitely feels like the big dog mic it's got some nice weight to it is this i think this is aluminum it's or some kind of really rigid i think it's a plastic but man this is a it feels like aluminum <laughs> but i think it is plastic man it's got some good weight to it golly yeah, it's got some substantial weight. So this thing is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's still got this, uh, you know, this this dual uh, friction kind of stop here where you can kind of adjust it that way. Let me pull it back up and adjust it right there. But there's your desk stand right there. I'm really digging how this thing is set up. It's, it's actually kind of beautiful in my opinion. But let's look at the bottom because you got your quarter inch inlet right there to put on a mic stand if you need to. Then of course you got your USB input headphone input once again let's go around to the front side just like mama bear we've got the headphone uh volume right here and then we have the microphone input or gain uh, adjustment right there slides feel good and on the back side that's where we get into the real business end of this thing so let me figure out how to work this so if you depress this button in it allows you to use this toggle switch right here where you can adjust the patterns so this right here is that omnidirectional pattern then right here you got your cardioid pattern that we talked about before where it's just really coming from in front of you and this right here that is actually not an eight it is actually a symbol for bi-directional meaning that if you want to have like an interview with somebody and you don't want the noise from the side uh, if you want the noise from the side you put it in the omnidirectional mode if you're just speaking, you just want to put it in the uh, cardioid mode where it's just kind of shooting in front of you. But if you're doing an interview or something or you got somebody sitting across from you, you can put it in this bi-directional. So it basically cuts off everything from the sides and it only works from the front and back. That way two people can have a conversation with this thing sitting right in between them. And this mic perfectly picks up everything coming from that person and yourself. And you don't have to fiddle around with the mic. That is fly. But there's one more mode because there's four. So when you push this button out and let it pop out, now it bypasses this switch right here and it goes into stereo mode, meaning you have a left and a right channel. So the difference between stereo and bi-directional is with stereo, you get left and right channel and that is it. Uh, with the bi-directional, it's almost like having stereo in the front and the back. 
So with the bi-directional, you have someone talking in the front in the front and you have a left and right for them because it's kind of picking up everything from that area. And then on the other side, which would be my side, it would pick up everything left and right from me. Uh, and that would be your bi-directional. Hope that makes sense to you guys. But this right here, super quality mic. And they also give you a pop filter. What a pop filter is for, for those of y'all that don't know, a lot of times when you have um, a microphone and you're speaking directly into it, especially when you're really close, uh, when you say things that have plosives, like anything with a P or pop or or uh, like, um, there, there are just some letters like T's and stuff like that that have a harsh beginning and they kind of just make the microphone peek out. You see the P's, how they're kind of like puh, puh, puh. This actually softens that blow to the microphone. That way it won't peek out. So that's why these pop filters and, and uh, microphone covers come in handy. is so you won't have all those plosives and stuff going into your, uh, your audio feed. So this sits on here just like that and it just sits, it doesn't get tight. You could probably push it down a little bit more and it'll tighten up a little bit, but I like to sit it just on the top of there, just like that and you are good to go. Now, I know you guys have heard enough of me rambling. Now it's time to get into some sound test. A few moments later. Okay, I got all three mics set up here and I got my computer and one mic is plugged up right now. Right now we have the Shasta plugged up. This is the mic that's plugged up. This is the one I'm gonna do first. And I'm gonna read a little passage from some Google news. It's about a McDonald's story. So that way I keep it consistent all the way through. I have them, even though these have, uh, this one has two patterns, uh, pickup patterns. This one has one and this one has four. I have them all set on the um, the cardioid pattern since that's the standard pattern for this one. That way, this first test, you're gonna get to see how all three of these pick up on the same pattern. So let me go ahead and record uh, this little article I'm reading from uh, from McDonald's. Okay, so here we go. McDonald's got itself into a pickle on Monday when it attempted an April Fool's Day joke that left some Australian customers angry. Okay, so that is how it sounds on the Shasta mic. McDonald's got itself into a pickle on Monday when it attempted an April Fool's Day joke that left some Australian customers angry. McDonald's got itself in a pickle on Monday when it attempted an April Fool's Day joke that left some Australian customers angry. Okay, so now that test was done even across the board. Uh, they all have the cardioid pattern. Uh, this one has the option to have cardioid or omnidirectional. And this one has the cardioid, omnidirectional, stereo, and uh, bi-directional. Okay, so now that you've heard all three of them on the cardioid pattern, uh, these two have other patterns, which I'll try to test out for you guys. But I also wanna test out the, uh, the listening feature where you can actually plug in your microphone and listen to your audio on the fly. So let me plug in this mic right here, get it going, and it is being read. And, oh snap, this sounds good. So right now, oh man, that's loud. Okay, so yep, the gain actually works. So I am actually recording, well, I'm not recording anything right now, but I'm definitely monitoring my sound as I go. So on the back side of here, okay, let me record this. Okay, so right now the, the gain on the mic is actually about uh, three quarters of the way up. Once I turn it up all the way, that that's full gain right there. So I'm gonna leave it at full gain, which sounds pretty good as I'm monitoring it in the headphones. Um, but then as it's, it's stuck in the cardioid pattern right now, and once I turn the mic around, you'll see that it's actually coming, you can hear kind of an echo, because right now it's not capturing my sound. But if I hit this button back here, now I actually sound like I'm coming from all over the place. And no matter where you speak from, you will hear the omnidirectional uh, input from the microphone. So that is cool. You, you don't even have to turn the mic off to get that feature to work. So this is, wow, this is really nice. So once again, we are in cardioid and nothing is coming from the back. And that is cool. Let me stop this recording right now. All right, let's move over to the big dog. Let's get him plugged in and he's powered on. Let me switch over my headphones to the headphone jack here. All right, I am officially, okay, man, this mic sounds really good. Okay, let me start recording this. Okay, so the gain is up all the way on this bad boy. And let me make sure, uh, right now, okay, yeah, wait a minute. Right now we're in the cardioid pattern. So this is the cardioid pattern. So as I turn the mic, you should not be able to hear. Yep, it's happening. I'm monitoring it right now. I cannot hear anything from the back. Well, I mean, it's an echo, but right here is where you get optimal sound. Is that cool or what? Okay, and now let me see here. Um, let's go into the omnidirectional just to make sure that, okay, the omnidirectional is working just fine. We have the pop filter on this side. So if I start talking in here, you'll start hearing that I get I give you lots of plosives, but on this side, you don't have the plosives that are so explicit. 
explosive explosive is that cool wow okay i'm sorry my bad <laughs> so let me go into the bi-directional now so now we are in bi-directional so from the back you hear i sound really good talking into this microphone from the side it sounds like i'm like in a really far away position but once i bring it around to the front with the pop filter you see that it sounds good again and once again on the side and on the back you see how the sound just picks up so the pattern pickups are working well but now i'm going to go into stereo by pressing this button so once you press the button and it pops out uh, it actually bypasses the switch right here so i'm pressing it and that is stereo so right now i'm basically in between the two channels the left and right but on the side here you see I have left and right so you can see how the sound is being picked up from different parts of the microphone because it's actually stereo it's it's left and right I can clearly hear it coming from one ear to the other and that I mean this mic is awesome okay so if you want to know let me turn this off wow okay so hands down I gotta tell you all three of these mics really sound good during my monitoring test I haven't plugged it in yet to see how it sounds coming through you know coming through the recorded device but as I was monitoring this the sound sounded really good coming out of these mics uh, they were actually even across the board in my opinion when it came to um, the cardioid pattern at least from what I was monitoring uh, but as far as the other patterns I gotta say that of course i mean naturally you would think this one sounded better and i mean it just does better this is my favorite mic if you got to ask me which one should i get i can't tell you that you're definitely going to have to pick out one that really suits your needs and allows you a little bit of room to upgrade this one i think is a one-stop shop for everything you've got everything in this mic that these two offer combined uh plus you have two extra pickup patterns you've got the stereo the left and right you got the the bi-directional and of course you got the cardioid and the omnidirectional pop filters included built like a tank and of course this one's built like a tank too i mean these are great quality feeling mics but if you want everything this one's the way to go uh and i say this is the way to go simply because it allows you room to upgrade and, and grow because right now let's just say you're doing voiceovers but at some point you're going to want a better quality mic or you're going to want to do some different directional patterns right so right here you already have it in your mic i'm just that kind of guy where when i make a purchase i actually look for what do i need now and what am i going to need six months from now because i don't want to be buying this thing twice if you don't want to buy it twice <laughs> get the big dog the denali here if you want to buy it twice maybe you'll go with this one just to save some little money right now and uh, maybe you can upgrade later this is a good mic definitely worth the money but i mean if you want more features then you're going to have to step it up a notch to the tahoe or the denali i think right here is probably going to be the sweet spot for everybody the tahoe because it offers the omnidirectional and the cardioid pattern and it sounds fantastic you can monitor your audio as it's coming in you can it's versatile with uh with the mic stand or the desk stand and you've got a mic gain built onto the mic uh, I don't know what more you could ask for. There it is. But this one right here, if you just want everything, go ahead and go for this one. If you want to hit that sweet spot for pretty much everything you're going to need, this is the way to go. I think this is probably going to be the most popular of the two. But I'm no expert on this stuff. I know a thing or two about YouTube videos and even less than that about recording. I'm just testing out microphones. But if you had a good time checking out these microphones with me, you go ahead and throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. All right, apparently you had a good time watching this video. Well, today's your lucky day because I didn't already made a whole bunch of them for you to go back and binge watch. But if you just want to check out the new stuff, you make sure you smash on that subscribe button and tap that little bell. That way you'll know when it's time to come back and open up some new stuff.